The University of Calgary is very proud to have Dr. Paul Koobs as one of our faculty members, one of our research leaders. We want to congratulate him. This is the most prestigious award given by CIHR, recognizing exceptional research in the area of health in terms of its impacts and translation into improved health care. And as director of the Calvin, Phoebe and Joan Snyder Institute for Infection, Immunity and Inflammation, he has brought together leading experts working for over 20 years to build a center of excellence that really is recognized on the world stage. He is so enthused in his work. He, he's deeply interested in it and he puts all of his whole being into it. Uh, and he's making it and he's bringing new people into the Institute and they're coming here from all over the world just because of Paul. I find Paul to be a very innovative scientist. He brings a lot of new approaches to science. He's recognized nationally, internationally for his development of state-of-the-art technologies to visualize inflammation and he's always stayed at the forefront. We develop microscopes that actually look right inside the body and we're able to visualize the immune system at work. Inflammation is this um, immune response that's gone bad. Some inflammation is good, but too much inflammation is definitely not. It's a huge problem. It ranges from diabetes, multiple sclerosis, uh, even Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, you name it. It's a, it's a problem with inflammation. If you think about it, we have two drugs really to treat inflammation with. One is cortisone. And the other is things you buy off the counter like NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen. We gotta do better than that. I think that for us, one of our major discoveries that we continue to work on is how white cells, the immune cells, get to sites of inflammation. So we think it's a, it's a new way of thinking about inflammation and preventing inflammation. And where I see Paul starting to make more contributions and where I think he will have future impact is being able to take the discoveries that he's made in his laboratory and now start to have real clinical impact with respect to sepsis and other inflammatory situations. A number of the molecules that we've discovered I would love to see get into clinic and help uh, people with inflammatory diseases and I'm prepared to invest money in that area. And then I've got some high risk with huge reward if we can figure it out projects. This award will allow me to do more research and that's really really important. Paul deserves this recognition probably long overdue for the recognition that he deserves, largely based on his defining a field in Canadian science, and that field is inflammation. And Paul's been a leader ever since coming to Calgary, and he is now at the top of his game. This award for Paul is going to draw more people into his research to work here and it will draw more researchers to the other institutes that are located here in Alberta, not just in Calgary. The University of Calgary has a goal to be in the top five research institutions by 2016. We just launched our new strategic direction, Eyes High, and in that we have committed to sharpen our focus on research and scholarship. Dr. Paul Koobs and his team at the Snyder Institute speak directly to what we want to do as an institution and his ability to be a role model and mentor for others here at the university I think will showcase how we can reach our goals and ensure that we deliver on our research which is going to impact Canadians both economically and in our social well-being. So we're very excited for Paul and his team. We wish him the very best and we want to congratulate him on this wonderful honour.